this is Tara from HealingCrystals.com and this is the Zodiac Crystal card reading for the week of June, wait, I gotta look, June 6th through June 14th, no, June 12th, yeah, June 6th through June 12th. Um, yeah, I just came back from, from a long weekend at the beach and um, for those of you who live in Maryland and Delaware, I was visiting your lovely states and um, it was a very nice, uh, nice time to be at the beach. It was very exciting. So um, here's the cards for the coming week. Remember the first card that we draw that represents you in the coming week. And that card is going to be the Sagittarius birthstone card, turquoise, okay? Sagittarius energy is optimistic. It's adventurous. Um, it can be a little abrasive. I can tell you that for a fact because I'm a Sagittarius and I know often I come off as being very abrasive. Um, because it, it, Sagittarius is very direct, thus the, the arrow that is the symbol for it. It's very direct energy. Um, it, this is really good energy to work with this week, and I'm going to tell you why in a second after we pull the second card, because it's, I, I really, when, when, once I pulled these cards, and I, and I did just, you know, they, these are the cards that popped up. It's, it's really interesting energy. Um, Sagittarius energy. If there's something that you that you want to go after, this is the energy that you want to use because Sagittarians they don't know when to give up. That can be a fault, but it can also be be really beneficial too because you know it, it will help you keep going. It 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 helps to keep your endurance going and your optimism going. And you know, even though though you know you you have those moments where you think oh, this is just never going to happen, and especially during this time period, as as I've been saying over the last couple couple of months, actually, the energy has been moving very slowly. You know, the, there's been a lot of stuff going on up in the sky that is has been meant to slow us down. Mars retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, all of that stuff is coming to a close. By the end of June, everything is going to be moving forward and, and energy is going to start flowing in a very positive direction. And you want to be ready for that when that comes. And Sagittarius energy will really help you out with that. So um, I think that's, that's what this card is letting us know is, you know, start being optimistic, get ready, start, start thinking about, you know, where you want to direct your energy. The second card that we draw, that's going to be your greatest strength and your greatest weakness for the week. And that card was, is the Gemini birthstone card. Um, oh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it. This was a turquoise. Turquoise is a wonderful crystal to use. First of all, I, I like the way that it marries the energy of like the earth and the sky. Um, and it's also, I mean, it's, it's a powerful crystal. It's, to me, it's, 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 it's a stone for a warrior. And I think all of us have an inner warrior that we need to bring out now and then. And turquoise will help you do that. Um, Gemini, the crystal represented here is agate. You know, agate has a lot of facets, a lot of levels. Um, you know, you look at an agate and you see, especially like a Botswana agate, you see all those different swirls of energy. And, and in a way, that, that's how Gemini is. Gemini is all about energy constantly moving, but it's moving inside of your mind. Now, the reason this is an interesting combination is because we just had a new moon yesterday in Gemini. And our full moon this month is going to be in Sagittarius. Gemini and Sagittarius are actually opposites on the zodiac wheel. And when you're dealing with energy of opposites, opposites in, in, in astrology are interesting because they both have the same values in a lot of ways. They just go after things in a different way. Um, and I think, you know, while Gemini looks at Sagittarius as being maybe too, too, forthright to cavalier maybe a little a little too optimistic because gemini is not necessarily an overly optimistic sign and sagittarius looks at gemini as oh why do you have to study everything let's just go and do stuff you put the two together and you've got a really powerful combination of energies um, and this is a really positive new moon this month in gemini um, and you've still got the energy to work with over the next couple of days it's a good time to try something new. That's actually what I spent my weekend doing was doing new things and I managed not to uh, kill myself or, or fall, in, fall into the ocean or anything like that, which is a good thing. Um, uh, 
so so this can be this can be your strength this week if you work with the new moon energy and you use it to figure out how you're going to get what you want okay it's going to be your weakness if you're figuring out how you're not going to get it okay gemini sees everything sees both sides of a situation so gemini can just as easily see how they can create the greatest of things, make anything happen. And then a second later, they can see how it will completely fail. And there's absolutely no way that this could ever work. Okay. The trick is to bring that energy together. Find a way to take those negatives and turn them into positives. And Sagittarius energy can help you do that. But if you allow either one of, of, of the extremes with the Gemini, that can be that that can work against you because you can either either you're you're overthinking something and you know you spend so much time figuring it out how you're going to make it work and how it's all going to flow that when it comes time to put it into action it, it it's it, you can't get out of your mind and start the action or if things don't go ac exactly according to your plan bam you're going right to the place where it's just not going to work and you're just walking away um, but if you marry it with the Sagittarius energy, you've got a really nice combination. So that's how this can be your weakness and your strength. But you definitely want to work with this new moon energy. It's, I mean, I've, I've been feeling it very powerfully over the last couple of days. And, you know, basically you, you've got a number of days. And remember, whatever you start at the new moon, you're working with the cycle of the moon. It begins with the new moon. So if you use this energy to start an idea, to start something, say, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. By the time the full moon comes, that's when the cycle ends. And it doesn't have to be, you wanna be realistic. And that's gonna come to our next card. You wanna be realistic. You don't wanna be, you know, thinking, oh my God, you know what, I, I wanna get married. And, and by the time of the full moon, I'm gonna get married. You know, that's probably being a little unrealistic. But if you think to yourself, you know what? I'm going to start putting myself out there more. I'm going to start meeting people more. I'm going to start, you know, building new relationships. And by the time of the full moon, I'm going to take a risk and, you know, talk to one person I've never spoken to before. That's a realistic goal. And that's something that you can see a benefit from by the time that the full moon comes. That's how astrology works. You're working with the cycle of the moon. And the cycle keeps regenerating every single month. This particular month going into June is really powerful with so many planets, you know, coming out of their retrograde phase. And, you know, the energy is just building and building and building. And it, it's really going to start moving forward. So this is your chance to get yourself mentally, spiritually, you know, get your will prepared, get everything prepared and be ready to go. Um, and then the last card that we draw, that's the surprise at the end that the universe has for us. And that card, this is going to be like our grounding earth energy. That's going to be the Taurus luck card. And the crystal represented here is jet. I was just telling somebody the other day that jet was a really good crystal to work with that, that we don't use often. A lot of people don't use often enough, but it's a really nice one because it's grounding, but it also helps. What it does is it grounds positivity. It grounds the goodness. And that's what you want to do. You make your own luck. That's all that there is to it. You know, you look at somebody and you think, oh, they're so lucky that, you know, you can be just as lucky as that person. It comes from having the right mindset. It comes from taking taking the best actions. And it's come, it comes from knowing that you are lucky and you are going to create that life. And that's what Taurus is all about. Taurus is all about creating your perfect life here on earth, the life that you work for, the life that you deserve. And that's, this, is, this is a really nice reading this week with, with a lot of powerful energy that we have to work with. Um, so, so I hope that you will, will take some time and work with this energy. Um, you know, I, I think you've got, you've got the fire, you've got the air, and you've got the earth. And you put all of those together, add a little touch of, of heart to it, you know, a little, think about, you know, what matters to you, what you love, add that to it. You've got the perfect combination for manifesting some really great things to come forward in, in, into your life. 
Don't forget to check out the weekly and daily horoscopes on HealingCrystals.com and on our Facebook page, Crystal Talk. Have a very powerful and happy week.